I just got to Casablanca, Morocco. I'm really excited. It was an 18 hour flight, so it was really, really long. And the first great tip of advice I was given is when you're in Casablanca is there's no Uber. So you need to plan ahead. My hotel is in Casaport, which is about 45 minutes, one hour away. So we're gonna head over there. I was given advice to take the train. So I'm gonna get on the train and catch you guys there. There's always something exciting about being in a new city, being in a new country, taking a new adventure. So for me, I am such a guilty people watcher and being in the streets of Casablanca and taking a look at all the people moving around, walking about, it's just so exciting and being able to feed into their vibe. And immediately I got here, the vibe and the energy I got from the people was just really infectious, so kind, so quick to ask, where are you from? So I absolutely can't wait to engage with more people. Today is gonna be a really, really exciting day because obviously I just landed and it's morning, but I am starved. I am headed to La Scala restaurant. This was something that was recommended to me by the receptionist at the hotel and I told her I wanted something that was authentic Moroccan, but still, instagrammable and something that you know ambience vibes colors you know i think that food is such an important thing about culture because behind food there's a history there's stories assimilation of cultures um how the spices changed when a different community came together so i really just want to go on this journey and experience some of the authentic moroccan culture through some of their food so let's go and get some of that tagine Hey. Help me! Woo. At this point, I was literally about to collapse. Foreign land, foreign animal attacking me. And I was like, where did this German shepherd come from? I was absolutely petrified. Obviously, I had the chicken tagine, which was absolutely fantastic, juicy, flavors, and it was made of kuku kenyeji. Okay, for those who don't understand Swahili, that's the Kenyan term or the Swahili term for organic chicken. All of these vibes, as you can see, it's vibes everywhere, the blue, then you know where to come to. My service more like more like service. <laughs> Messi Boku.
One of the most distinctive experiences about traveling is the experience of culture and beliefs in the intertwining of daily lives. The Adhan, also known as the call to prayer, is a beautiful calling to connect with the Most High, whatever you define it to be, who to be, or what it is. You feel the deeper intrinsic connection. Hearing the Fajr, which is the prayer dawn, this morning awoke my spirit, body, and mind. Passing the second mosque is also the third largest mosque in the entire world and it has this spectacular view overhanging the, the Atlantic Ocean and the waves echo the verses from the Quran which state that God's throne was built upon the waters. absolutely loved being at the mosque and now really wanted to experience the habush. The habush is like a market and so you'll find an array of things available. One thing for sure to notice is the numerous of cafes by the road which people love to recollect at after a long day. So Casablanca has been an absolute blast. Thank you 
so much. I've had such a good time. It has been beautiful inside and out. And when I say inside and out, I mean the people have been absolutely friendly, amazing, kind, just really fantastic people. And the scenery, the views, the food, the culture, the dancing, I have had a blast. So I hope you really do enjoy this Casablanca vlog and don't forget to subscribe because we are off to Dakhla now. I'm headed to the airport. Can't wait to get to the other side and share that with all of you. So this is going to be a two and a half hour flight and I'll see you there.